Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Mythical, everyone's favorite YouTuber, and today we're going to be making a second channel video. What the hell? And today's video is about this one YouTuber called Psychonautic Therapy, or however you pronounce that name of his. Well, anyways, we're going to be talking about him today for being a little lying weasel. So if you didn't know, this guy made a community post about me recently, and it really is a dishonest one. So if you didn't know, I was in this Discord server a few months ago until I left, and the main reason why I left was because the serpent members in there who are also his friends were sexually harassing me but I will go into more detail in a bit but he really does try and downplay his whole situation by showing a screenshot of me jokingly calling someone a monkey and jokingly calling people a pedophile which I think is kind of funny that he uses this because if you know me well then you know that I mean nothing behind what I say when I say this type of shit because with the whole calling people monkey thing that has no racist context behind it I just say it for for the sake of saying shit and it means nothing whatsoever and it's the exact same thing with the whole calling people pedophiles because you know that's my humor my humor is to say some dumb shit and you know what's really funny about this shit that i don't even do any of this shit privately this is all public knowledge everyone who knows me and even my own audience knows that i'm just a shit poster and that i do this so guess what buddy you're not bringing up anything new whatsoever and if you want a moral fag about this shit why don't you bring up the screenshots of your own friends literally calling me a monkey as well. And not only that, but your own femboy boyfriend saying the n-word like there's no tomorrow. Of course, I don't really care about him saying the n-word because I'm not offended, but if you're gonna moral fag over it, at least call him out as well. Because right now you're just looking like a bit of a hypocrite and you are being disingenuous. Well, anyways, next point. So this guy really did try and downplay the whole situation by saying this. He basically tries to downplay it by saying that I was only called Pookie and and now I'm claiming it's sexual harassment, when that is not true whatsoever. I legit have screenshots of me feeling uncomfortable with the things being said to me, even to the point where I told them to stop, but they kept on going. And it isn't just the word pookie, it was a lot more sexual comments. And the fact that you're lying about the situation now is just beyond sad. But hey, let me explain something to you, buddy. Sexual harassment is when someone is feeling uncomfortable and tells the other person to stop making sexual comments about them, and if they don't stop, that's when the harassment begins and it isn't just any harassment it's sexual harassment due to the sexual comments being made all right anyways so i proved that i told these people to stop and i did not give them any consent to make sexual comments about me i proved that the comments were considered sexual so what does that mean it means it's sexual harassment and the fact that i need to explain what sexual harassment is to a man that's almost 30 years old is worrying like what the fuck but to be fair you are just an old man who idolizes drugs and all that who is jobless and of course is broke so basically you serve no purpose to society so it's not really surprising that he comes out with this type of bullshit pure fucking degeneracy and the fact that a youtube shorts youtuber that goes skibbity bup bup every fucking five seconds because how brain rotted i am is giving you this much of a reality check is fucking depressing on your part like my guy rethink your life but at the end of the day, you're just a sad little man that just wants to protect their little friends on Discord all day. Like my guy, go and get a life, get a job, find a real relationship and not do that fucking online dating bullshit. It's cringe. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I know that he's probably going to respond to this video by making a video of his own or a tweet or even a community post. But whatever he does, I'm not even going to respond anyway because I don't need to. He's not really much of a threat. I can already predict his response. All he's going to do is just show some screenshots of me being an asshole especially with that one message where i basically hope that one of my sexual harassers gets swatted which of course i actually don't mean at all it was just me saying it in the heat of the moment because i got pissed off but hey man it happens to everyone so we can show whatever he wants i don't really care whatsoever because i know for a fact that it won't even excuse the shit these people have done there is no good excuse at all for sexual harassment to ever happen and i'm not gonna sit here and beg for an apology from anyone because i don't really want one i just want these people people to realize what they did was wrong and that they don't do this to anyone else ever again but of course knowing these people that might be a little too much for me to ask for anyways i'm going to be ending off the video here i hope all of you enjoyed this video make sure you like and subscribe to me right now and don't sexually harass people because that isn't very sigma of you fuck my life